Law enforcement helicopters are nothing new, but the Orange County Sheriff's Department is using a special night vision camera to track criminals. Tonight, only on Fox, Gina Silva went on a ride along to show us how it works. Gina. Well, Christine, those deputies had to leave on a call right now, a child abduction, but we're going to show you what this is. This is Duke 2, and it has pretty amazing technology inside. It has one of the most sophisticated cameras available to law enforcement. Take a look. Orange County Sheriff's deputies on the hunt, looking for a crime in progress. We're the eye in the sky. Wherever you hide, we have the best view possible. And what a view. Take a look at these images from spotting taggers. As we are recording them uh, as they tag right now. To a known gang member with a gun. Between the house and the shed there. To a crazy pursuit. He is moving. A crash. He just TC'd. A driver trying to get away. It looks like they're going to foot bail. Not a chance. All of them busted. They saw a guy run with a, a shotgun in his hand. Um, I've seen guys throw things. I've seen them, um, you know, try to uh, get rid of evidence. Deputies Bart Epley and Brian Fisher say when officers on the ground are not able to spot the suspect because it's pitch black, they rely on Duke, Orange County Sheriff's Air Support, because of its high-tech camera. It has a, a telephoto lens, which allows us to zoom in and see from high altitudes. It allows us to search wide areas all the way down to, to narrow Areas. Unlike night vision cameras that need a little bit of light to work properly, Duke is armed with FLIR, forward-looking infrared technology. FLIR is a heat-detecting imaging system that can easily spot a person even when it's completely dark. Since humans are generally 98.6 degrees, they're running from the scene of the crime or they're running from police, uh, it allows us, it, it causes their bodies to, to heat up even warmer. FLIR has a sensor that produces extremely detailed video. Deputies can watch it right here in the chopper. And when their target can be seen on screen, they radio the officers on the ground with the exact location. And it's not just a tool to. Um, search for bad guys. We also use it to look for missing children, lost hikers. Last month in Santa Ana, this man was arrested for using a slingshot to fire marbles at police officers. They found marbles on the scene and they found marbles with him. The man was taken into custody and his remaining marbles taken away for evidence. FLIR has resulted in approximately 500 arrests since the department started using it three years ago. You can run but you can't hide. If we're overhead and you're running, we're going to get you. Now, some of you may be wondering if this technology can see through anything. Can it see through buildings? Does it work like an x-ray machine? No, it does not. It only detects heat, human heat usually. And again, the busiest time for these deputies, between 10 p.m. and 1 a.m. And as I mentioned at the top of this report, the officers had to leave for 